Hey everyone, this is Alon, and I just want to wish every one of you a happy Valentine's Day. If you have one at your side, please take good care of them, as I really hope they take good care of you as well, and have a great romantic little evening and all that. And if you're single, like me, I do hope that you take your own time and take care of yourself, because while Valentine's Day, as I say, is much for couples and all that, but I do also think it's important for us that it's alone, or prefer to be alone in any kind of way. That we love ourselves because if you can't love yourself, I was gonna say something uh, with it there, but that didn't come out well. But what I really mean is that you need to take good care of yourself as well. So if you're alone, don't feel sad that you are that. I mean, honestly, we stick together. We are. We need to love each other. That didn't go as I was really thinking. Love yourself and be happy. And now you may be struggling like, what should I do for Valentine's Day? Either you're alone or having someone, there's always that like, oh gosh dang it, what should I do? What should I make this day special? And I have for you have the answer. Anime. And I'm gonna say it right out, I love romantic shows and all that in animes and things, because even if it's lots of action, if there is just a tiny bit of romance in it, it makes it so much more interesting and more enjoyable for me, even if I don't mind the pure action and all of that. Adding a bit of a spicy romance in it, and I'm completely sold on it. So I decided I'm gonna make my own list on top 5 romantic animes for you to watch on Valentine's Day, either you are alone or having someone with you. And of course, if you know you have friends that are lonely, invite them. I mean, love comes in many different forms or shape. It doesn't need to be with one partner, but ah, what are you doing, cat? Tifa trying to scratch my butt. That is very inconvenient. No, don't do that. So yes, <laughs> invite your friends, watch some anime, have a good time. It doesn't need to be a day of sadness. We can make this fun. And without further ado, let us jump into my top five romantic animes. And number five, we have House Moving Castle. One of Studio Ghibli's greatest movies, and honestly, they have many great ones. This is definitely one of those I feel perfect for this kind of thing because it's having this core with Sophie Hatcher that turned to an old lady and Howl, obviously, and his castle. And seeing this outstanding story with the style and everything that is so Studio Ghibli, seeing these characters, I think, is honestly is a beautiful movie. It's having its dark twists and this obscure things that sometimes Studio Ghibli can have in it with the different odd characters and all that but still make it so lovely and simply an amazing movie and I was honestly struggling with because there is so many different Studio Ghibli movies I want to put up here but I decided to only put one up here because otherwise it would be a Studio Ghibli fest to have up here and number four is Lovely Complex it followed the story of Koizuma Risa and girl that is way above the average of girls in her age and Utanis Atsushi that is way shorter than the average guy in his age and I think this is simply an outstanding hilarious story about love and as it said lovely complex because it's a complex thing with their heights and seeing how they struggle with it and honestly I think it's adorable and having is very hilarious moments as well as these kind of shows have and I felt this is definitely one of my top five romance series because seeing these characters, very strong, interesting characters interacting with a little bit of what is a against as a norm that the guy need to be taller than the girl, seeing that the reverse, I'm seeing how adorable they can be. And honestly, I, I think this is simply a wonderful show. And if you want something to awe about as well laugh, this is definitely something for you. Number three is Jury on Ice. I love sports anime, though figure skating was definitely not one of those I was expecting to see. But when Jury on Ice was released and I heard so much great about it, I of course couldn't resist to watch it. And I must say I'm not disappointed. So this story is mainly about figure skating and love. And I'll cause a little bit of humor. There is no escaping from that. And Jury Katsuki, Victor Nikiforov, and of course, Jury Angry Shibi Plisetsky, I can still not pronounce it very well, terrible sorry, I still only call him Angry Shibi, is just a bunch of many amazing characters, and of course, the love that forms between Jury and Victor, 
That is also one of the big points about this anime is guy love guy, which is not seen much, if at all, in anime and very rarely in movies in general. And when many see it like, oh, it's forced about gays and all that, I honestly just find this incredible lovely. They are such a sweet couple and the characters, how they go together is honestly just so freaking amazing. So Jura Nice is definitely for those that is either interested in LGBT or is part of it, like figure skating or just sports in general and romance. So I would really suggest it is an amazing show, at least in my opinion. Number two is Violet Evergarden. Now this is a show I'm actually watching right now here on YouTube. For those of you that is following my channel, <laughs> do probably know that I do making a reaction series and reviews on this. So far I've only seen three episodes of it and I still didn't hesitate to add it to this list and even as number two because of a couple of reasons. Mainly, first of all, the anime style of it is insanely beautiful. The atmosphere and the feelings, these characters that appear following Violet Evergarden and her way to understand what the Major told her, I love you. She trying to understand these words, these meanings and becoming an out of memory doll at a postal service and I'm really curious to see how this is gonna be like and following Violet as she struggled to learn empathy and words what the meaning because this also make me think so much about writing and how words can mean so much and the power of them I mean there is so many things this series so far have been teaching me and I'm really curious to see more of it and of course I have always a weakness about characters that have this very hard time to adapt to social skills and all that and learning slowly because there's something with that that always makes me like I want to help them I want to make them understand I want to be there see how they learn and of course it's not a wrong thing that she have mechanical arms because I'm always weak for robots and <laughs> cyborgs and things like that but this is a show I definitely suggest for those that want something new something fresh something that is really make you think and feel Still though, only 4 episodes out, but definitely more will come and honestly, do watch it. And before I jump to number 1, I just want to mention a couple of honorable mentions here. And the honorable mentions are Lavina, Ama Goddess and Cast in the Sky Laputa. Lavina and Ama Goddess are definitely, in my opinion, better in the manga and anime. And Cast in the Sky is simply one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies ever. And honestly, it's such a wonderful movie. If you haven't seen it, it's old, but definitely worth watching and uh, Love Hina and Oh My God it is some of the very first mangas I started to read way back and gave me this feeling and love for romantic movies and novels and things like that so I also suggest to read them and if you want to watch them of course do that but I honestly don't think the animes are way on par with many of the today's or generally even back then with animes but their mangas though have definitely their charm and I think if they are worth taking a look at if you have the time and interest to do. Number one on my list, Toradora, one of my favorite animes of all time and honestly I have watched this so many times, I think this is simply an outstanding anime. Following Ruji Takasu and Taiga Aisaka and there's so much things I love about this with the characters fall and the their struggles to understand each other and themselves, their, how love is and seeing the different characters and the story about these two is simply outstanding. And I'm gonna admit this was the first time I really got to see it Sunder and of course I love that and I love Taiga. She is simply an adorable character and strong one so to speak and Ruji, I see this dude is just simply Awesome. I love how he is as a char character. He's so kind. He looks like he's a badass delinquent, but honestly, he's like he is the most opposite you can ever be. He's love housework, he's cleaning, he's very neat about that. And seeing how these two going together to find love as it shows that Taika is in love with Ryu Ruji's best friend, Kitamura, and Ruji is in love with Taika's best friend, Minori. And uh, you can see how that gotta be in a clash with everything. Though I honestly can't really say how much I love this show. I do suggest you to watch it if either you're alone or have someone. This is without doubt one of my top 5 animes of all time and I think it's worth watching. It's 
simply wonderful and beautiful. And I really hope you can watch it. And if you have, take a watch again. It's Valentine's Day. And have a continued super great day.